The light bulb factory has two production lines that eventually merge. One prepares the glass bulb. The other makes what's called the mount, the electrical components that go inside it. At the start of the mount line, a machine cuts glass tubing into pieces of specific lengths. The cut tubes land on what's called a glazing wheel that runs them through a gas flame for about seven seconds. This heats the glass enough to smooth the surface. The glazed tubes now enter what's called a flare-making machine, which heats each tube until the glass is malleable, then stretches one end into a flared shape. The next machine loads two copper lead wires into the flare end. Then it inserts a thin glass cylinder called the exhaust tube. A trip through a series of progressively hotter flames softens the tubes. A press then moves in to squash them, encasing the wires in glass. At the same time, the machine makes a tiny hole in the glass in between the wires. This is to later remove air from inside the ball. It'll exit via the exhaust tube through this hole. 